And now the Apollo 12 astronauts. 12 Apollo astronauts plucked out of the water in the Pacific by this one helicopter. And we can see the Apollo 12 emblem. It was covered over with paper when the ship went out this morning, and a string ran from that paper up the side of the nose into the cockpit window. Commander Ott, after picking up Conrad, the third astronaut lifted from the command module, yanked that string and tore off the paper. We can see a little piece of the string still there with the stencil. He told me that if the paper didn't come off, he was going to reach out and pull it off. Well, it's off. Recovery complete. Shut it down. Recovery complete, announces the air officer. And the helicopter is being secured. Chocks are being put under the landing gears. The engines are being shut down. And a man is placing a sign right above that Apollo emblem that says, three more like before. It may not be perfect English or grammar, but it certainly conveys the feeling of the Hornet crew here today. This is their slogan for this mission. Three more like before. Meaning, of course, the Apollo 11 astronauts, which this same carrier also picked up. That sign was attached by Chief Petty Officer Richard Smith. He's in charge of these Airedales, and he's from Fredericksburg, Texas, which is also the home of a, or was the home of another famous Navy man, Admiral Nimitz. Now, Commander Ott and his co-pilot, Lieutenant Junior Grade Glenn Casey, will stay in the cockpit. They are still on oxygen to avoid any contamination. Their two crew members, Dominguez and Cunningham, by now, should have moved forward, leaving the astronauts in the aft compartment with Dr. Jernigan. Before coming forward, Cunningham and Dominguez were to have slipped off their heavy, hot bio biological isolation garments, their big suits, leaving them behind to be decontaminated, but continuing to wear their respirators. You can see in the foreground there, civilians, that these are members of the Apollo recovery team that came aboard the Hornet last night. They are waving into the window. That is Jerome uh, Hammock, the head of recovery for the Apollo program, for the manned space program. And with him is John Stonecipher, the deputy chief of recovery. That's John Stonecipher and Jerome Hammock of the NASA recovery team. The band is playing the Naval Academy version of Anchors Away, and we can see an astronaut waving out the window of the aircraft. The little yellow mule that is pulling the helicopter, by the way, has a sign that says, Beat Army. That came, of course, coming up, I believe, this weekend.
aircraft has been lowered to the hangar deck and is being wheeled now forward and turned around. It will be pushed back some 200 feet, I would estimate, alongside the quarantine trailer. And then the astronauts will exit, and we will get a better look at them as they step some 35 to 40 feet to enter the trailer. They will, of course, be wearing their respirators, and we won't see all of their features, but we should be able to tell who they are, of course. We can see someone now. You can see the astronauts inside the helicopter, which is at the moment being towed into position next to the mobile quarantine facility, this trailer-like object on the hangar deck in which they'll be spending at least the next five days before they get to Houston. A number of uh, VIPs, officials, have gathered here. We'll be telling you about them in a moment. There you see the helicopter now being backed into position very slowly on the hangar deck, which is one deck below the flight deck. The astronauts still inside. The quarantine rules being observed. A number of NASA officials walking along with the helicopter, which is being pushed into position. Now you see the plastic entryway, which is rigged up just outside the mobile quarantine facility. This has nothing to do, actually, with the arrival of the astronauts. This is an anticipation of the arrival of the spacecraft, which will be hooked up to it here again to preserve the quarantine integrity. Helicopter 66 being rolled into position. In a moment, the astronauts will be out and on deck. Some NASA people will move over a small wooden step. And here you see that step now being moved into place by John Stonecipher on the right, Fred Swanholz on the left of the NASA recovery team. The three astronauts now coming forward and with their respirators on. I'll be darned if I can tell which is who. The three astronauts now walking briefly across the hangar deck and into the facility there to be locked up again. There's the doctor, Dr. Jernigan, and Randy Stone, the technician inside. And they will remain now in quarantine for another 18 days, which is the full three weeks. They count the three-day trip back from the moon as part of that quarantine. The helicopter number 66 being rolled away from that spot. It will be taken back to the flight deck, where it, too, will be decontaminated. It will be filled with formaldehyde gas. And that presumably will be the end of all moon bugs, if there are any in there. Now you see a picture of the outside door in which the astronauts... This is Mission Control in Houston, Texas. Uh, I expect watching television screens. Observing the recovery operations, they've just seen the astronauts disappear inside their own little home, where they'll be spending the next several days. And these are the Marine Guards posted outside the mobile quarantine facility. The clumsy name they've given for that device that the men will be living in the next few days. And it has a window at the rear with a curtain over it at the moment. I suspect they'll draw the curtains in a little while and we'll get a chance to see them without the face masks. In any event, we will be back in just a moment. Now here is a word from Gulf. 